Hello, uh, my name is Kevin Clancy. I'm a partner at Shepherd and Wedderburn within the Commercial Disputes and Regulation Division. Uh, by way of briefest introductions, uh, my expertise lies in the regulatory and licensing sectors. Uh, I have experience advising clients uh, in relation to regulatory crime uh, in a range of disputes such as health and safety uh, and environmental issues, uh, but I also lead the firm's licensing group. Uh, that involves having acted for a number of household names, including supermarkets, garden centres uh, and other uh, organisations in the hospitality and leisure business. And most recently, that has advised, uh, that has included advising on the topic of today's webinar, the new regime for short term letting licensing in Scotland. Um, I've set out on this slide the discussion points I hope to cover uh, in the next 30 minutes or so. Uh, in doing so, I hope this discussion will leave you more informed about how the new legislation will completely change the face of short term letting in Scotland and what owners and operators advertising properties for short-term stays will need to do to remain on the right side of the law. This does come with a slight health warning. Although the Scottish Government has legislated for licensing of short-term lets at national level, each of the 32 local authorities are required to determine on a local basis whether to implement control areas, which I'll come back to, and to consult and publish their own licensing policies. So there may be slight local differences and nuances to be aware of. That this has become an issue at all is because the government considers that the short-term letting of properties has become more accessible than ever before. The Scottish Government has recognised there are benefits to Scotland's economy uh, and its communities, which is brought about by short-term letting, but there are also concerns about the growth in the numbers of short-term lets. Where this left the government is really three competing interests which the new licensing scheme is intended to address. Firstly, locals have complained about the availability of housing and tourist hotspots, as well as nuisance caused by what's described as stag and hen do tourism. Secondly, those who work in traditional hospitality, uh, specifically in rural areas, uh, are concerned about depopulation and subsequent shortages in staff. And thirdly, there are those who want to encourage business in, and tourism, including organisations who are behind short term letting. So with those preliminary uh, remarks aside, how have we got?